Tony, I would something you said off the air before, you know, about the, the quality of, of the Ottawa Senators in their first line. I would really be concerned, I don't know if you are, about about Eugene Melnick and at, at what point in time will be the breaking point because I can't see them I can't see him making any money. I know he's divested a lot of his horse racing ownership. He's getting out of that and uh, I don't know, it seems to me like, yeah, they have to go around in a caravan. It's too important. It's kind of like what the Blue Jays used to do, but they have to do that because every opportunity that they don't take to try and sell that team and market the team, to me, is like you're, 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 you're going further and further away from relevance. And I don't think the relevance is that great to begin with. Yeah, no, and, and you know, the, you know, the floor's going up. The ceil- like, I mean, it's, uh, it's not great. And I think the perception of, of Eugene, like you said, uh, divesting his, uh, his horses and the stables and, you know, the divorce and, and, all, and all this stuff, uh, you know, I, I think uh, there's some behind the scenes, uh, some trouble. And, you know, it would, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't surprise me or shock me if the Sens uh, and the building are up for sale in the next couple of years. We've already seen it happen once before. He came in there as the White Knight, but at right. some point in time, and I got to turn it over to you, Bill. I don't know, like, you know, would you would you look at the Ottawa Centers and say that's a team that's losing money, or does every team make money? Because I don't think every team makes money. Well, Ottawa is at the floor, I would assume, or close there too. Uh, so they're going to have a hard time losing money in Ottawa. But Tony knows this a lot better than I. Uh, if you don't win in Ottawa, you're done. And uh, they're, they're, even if it's the Ottawa Senators, we went through that with football. We <coughs> couldn't win in Ottawa. And you've got you're, you're dealing with swivel servants that spend wisely. It's a and walk up walk up crowd, Bill. Yeah, you know, ten or eleven thousand season tickets, and guess what? You got to sell another eight or nine thousand. And as you said, if you're if you're not winning, you know that walk up crowd. Uh, you know, I mean, when it's a snowy day, uh, you know, driving out to Canada, it's it becomes a bit of a hassle. <laughs> so, and you you know your yeah, your son bang on with the football experience. He he knows firsthand. I worked with him with the Grey Cup. Uh, I know firsthand. Uh, you're you're right. Civil servant, very uh, very walk up crowd oriented. The last well, and th- th- that's not necessarily a slam on them. That, you know, professional sports is a function of the population that they have to work with. And Ottawa is a relatively small city. They include uh, uh, all as part of their, but nobody from all comes to Ottawa. And right. so you don't have the numbers that they think they have. And consequently, they do the best they can. But when the product starts to slip, and uh, they're not interested. They, they just aren't going. And, Tony, you pointed out one of the biggest hardships, and that is driving out to Canada. You're halfway to Peterborough. Yeah. That's quite a way. Well, yeah. The location, uh, you know, it, it is what it, it's great. For me, I'm 10 minutes from, I live in Canada. But from a guy with, you know, from Orleans, the traffic and, and everything, and, you know, let's, hit, let's, let's look at the TV, the high definition, the replays. I don't pay $15 to park. I don't pay $15 for a beer. Uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of negatives uh, and not a lot of features and benefits to going and taking in a game. Yeah, just, and, just, sorry, Perry, just real quick, the Leafs Fan Fest this weekend, Proceeds will go to charity. Okay, nice. sir. Okay, I'm so not sure how be, much, but yeah. there'll be, some will be going to charity, at least at a foundation of some kind. Yeah. And they, they, you know, as, long as, as long as they're not misleading you, that's nice that they're doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It'll go to the Leaf Charities, the Leaf Fund. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. 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 The, the thing I would Thanks, say, so. too, about, about Ottawa is they've lost Jason Spezza, they've lost Daniel Offertson in the last two years. There's the two captains. And Bobby Ryan is in his last year. Well, he's gone. And I don't think they can afford to keep him. So there's the thing that he, he, he's playing to, to the or playing at the floor right now, so he may not lose a lot of money, but they're losing top quality players. And you've got to wonder the, just about the quality of the on-ice performance because you get rid of a guy like Jason Spezza, you get some guys coming in there. But it's not Jason Spezza, it's not Daniel Offertz and quality players. So, again, I, I'd just be looking at the big picture and say, like, you know, and while the big picture you summed up, Perry, as the problem is very obvious. Eugene, Eugene, the dancing machine, uh, his financial story is significantly a part of the Alfredson departure, of the Spezza departure, and of Bobby Ryan's departure. This team cannot afford to get the players they need to win. And this is not like, it's not just specific to Eugene Melnick. I mean, this is a franchise since day one 
has had owners coming on and coming off the wagon because they couldn't financially keep going. When he came in there, he was considered the financial white knight, and he, you know what? He did very well for this community. He, he, oh, yeah, but he's he ponied up, but if... The, the building and the team for, for next yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, <laughs> Just peanuts, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I don't want to hear Eugene uh, crying about it. But as Tony listed, there's, uh, there's a, uh, a laundry list of problems this guy's got, not the least of which is the divorce. Yeah. 